How's it going everyone, this is Tom with RedmanPie.com. Earlier today, Apple finally released iOS 7.1. Historically, the point one updates uh, don't often contain a ton of new features, but they do contain a lot of bug fixes, a lot of minor uh, changes to the interface, the user experience. So I'm going to be going through a few of the changes, or most of the changes, including in iOS 7.1. As I said, most of these are going to be smaller user interface tweaks, for example, on the Springboard, the FaceTime and the Messages app are less vibrant green. So for instance, I have my iPad Air here, which is currently on iOS 7, uh, it's not on 7.1. You can see that the colours are much more vibrant on the uh, on the iPad than they are on the iPod Touch 5th generation, which is on 7.1. That's not for all icons, I believe that's just for FaceTime and Messages. Next, if I go ahead and uh, go to power off my iPod Touch here, uh, you can see that there's a totally new interface for the uh, the powering off screen. You still get the fade out as you drag across, but it's uh, it's slightly different to the iOS 7 feel, to be honest. It's a lot more darker, which I guess uh, is logical as you're turning off your device. You get a slightly different lock uh, animation there as you're along the bottom, the kind of mirrored uh, animation, the mirrored effect on the slide to unlock text. That's actually different now uh, in 7.1. It's slightly, it's slightly more reflective, I'd describe it. Just a small change that one. Another very small change, there's a slightly different animation to the control center. When you invoke control center, it now kind of bounces up, you get a uh, more of a spring. Again, just another little small addition to the interface. Another very small tweak is it now says no notifications instead of no missed notifications. This size of tweak is uh, is very typical of an iOS 7 to 7.1 uh, upgrade. We have a lot of accessibility tweaks in iOS 7.1. If you go into the contrast, you get the option to reduce transparency, uh, darken colors, and then reduce the white point of iOS 7. So this is kind of just dims your screen ever so slightly, which I have to say I prefer it actually. The reduce transparency option does this. As you you can see the control center design now just kind of has a block gray behind it uh, and that's supposed to just make it easier to read for people who maybe have trouble deciphering the uh, text on a transparent kind of uh, blurry background same thing with the folders there uh, you don't have a blurred background you have the uh, just kind of a solid color if you use the default iOS 7 calendar app you'll probably be a fan of this change you now have a, uh, a list view within the calendar application for months you didn't have this before it was pretty Previously just this view but now you kind of can tap this icon at the top and then you get a list view of all of your events uh, that are going on on that month on that specific day in that month pretty useful for people who use the default calendar app another pretty small change here there's now a changed uh, design for the shift key on your keyboard you now double tap it and you get a little line underneath to indicate uh, that you have a kind of uh, caps lock on and then you can just deselect it it's just a different design to fit in more with the keyboard there's no blue shade on the caps lock anymore Next up, this one's specific to the iPhone 5S, so I can't actually demonstrate it, uh, but there's now an HDR automatic mode for the iPhone 5S. It will detect, uh, in when you're in this mode, it will detect whether or not an HDR photo is uh, better. It's and if your phone determines that it should be an HDR photo, it will select that for you. This is actually a really useful change in Siri that I'm really happy about. Uh, Siri will now detect the amount of audio uh, for the duration of the time you hold down the home button as opposed to trying to predict it. So you hold down the home button for as long as you'd like to talk to Siri for, and then you can release it and it will stop picking up your uh, audio if there's no audio in the background. You can still do it in the prior uh, iOS 7 conventional way and it will still work. It's just an alternative option to uh, kind of increase series accuracy. If you don't like the iOS 7 parallax on your wallpaper, uh, you'll probably be a fan of this new edition. You can simply go into your wallpapers and then turn off perspective zoom and set that to your uh, your wallpaper for your device and then if you head back onto your home screen there'll be no parallax uh, effect for your phone it will just be a standard wallpaper and that's independent of any accessibility settings there's also changes to itunes radio and also carplay in ios 7 that's a big new feature in ios 7.1 i can't demonstrate those but i'll link an article over on redmondpie.com in the description if you'd like to read about them personally the biggest thing for me is just the speed of the operating system and reliability there's a lot of bug fixes a lot of reliability fixes and also the animations between apps are a lot a lot quicker things like invoking the multitasking switcher and things of that nature just things you do on your device all the time are a lot more snappy with iOS 7.1 Hopefully you have enjoyed or found this video helpful. If you have, drop it a like. Head over to redmanpie.com for all the latest iOS 7.1 news. Subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss any videos just like this one. And I will catch you next time.